different than other six strings that I've played before. It doesn't seem unnatural. Like I can play with my fingers bass lines and it, through a bass amp, it sounds like that. But uh, when you go up to the higher register and the higher strings and play chords, um, it's still full, but uh, it, it just sounds more like a guitar. So honestly, I think it's just completely a little bit of both. As a guitar player, I felt pretty comfortable on the crossover from the start. Jake always keeps me on my toes. Having the crossover helps me keep that full range of sound under him. For any two people playing that instrument, uh, it's just a whole new realm of possibilities. On this instrument, the crossover, I can play chords and it uh, it sounds full, like there's a bass in there. Um, now, the fact that we're talking about it being uh, like a bass and like a guitar, having the EQ is just essential at that point because I can really EQ it like a bass and vice versa. <laughs> It just gives you that opportunity to experiment more. Because I played guitar before, um, I would approach the bass sometimes like that. I, I just like the way that melodies sound on the bass with the thicker strings and the wood, and also the way chords sound. Um, and sometimes on a regular, regular bass, um, it can get a little too muddy with the overtones. So I think the crossover um, is perfect in that way that it can, it covers this whole spectrum of sound. And if you play chords, it's, you can hear on the notes crisp. It's helpful for trying to write your chords, for trying to write your lines. Everything is all in one. It's almost like having a piano on strings. I do a lot of gigs that are, are longer, um, and for the endurance of those gigs, that bass is just great because it's light and um, the neck isn't too wide. You know, three and a half hours into a gig, um, it just feels, I'm not fatigued, I guess I should say. Um, and great to travel with, you know, throw it on your back and it's like not, not, not a big deal. So.